but taking the alcohol away allowed me more clarity to focus on those areas and allowed me to feel just more at home in my body. Um, so all of that is tons better. And then there's just like the, um, more the, the vanity aspect of, of, uh, skin and, um, yeah, just, um, you know, hoping, <laughs> hoping I'm, I'm slowing the aging process a bit. I'm 45 and I definitely notice difference in my skin and just the shape of my face and, um, you know, little things like that too, which aren't always so little. Did you say you're 45? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm 45 as well. And I could certainly say you do not look 45. That's for sure. Well, that's always it. It's always good to hear. It always feels good. I I, I like to hear it as well. <laughs> um, you know, full full disclosure, I um I drink. I don't drink a lot. Um, but I, I can resonate with a lot of things you're saying. Like I, if I have one one drink, uh, actually I don't drink in the evenings anymore because I track everything through an aura ring. It totally <laughs> destroys my sleep. So if I drink, I'm drinking in the a- afternoon um, because I know that it just doesn't work for me in, in the evenings. So uh, the sleep thing is, is a huge, huge, huge part of it for sure. I'd say that was probably one of my biggest motivations for stopping drink. I mean, sleep just affects everything else. And I could have one glass of wine and I would still be up at 3 a.m. with anxiety and wide awake. So, yeah, I mean, just from a from a biological standpoint, it reduced one drink reduces our REM cycles from like seven to two. So um, I hear you on that one. Yeah, I, I, I fall in that category for sure, for sure. So how, how did you begin or what, maybe just a to work with if somebody's newly sober or just sober curious? What, what, how do you recommend they begin or how do they start? Is it, is it a cold turkey kind of thing? Is it a slow progression? Is it individualistic? You know, I say it, it really depends on the person. And when I work with someone, I really meet them where they are. And a key piece is definitely not taking something on as you've done something wrong or it's your fault. Like I am absolutely not here to to shame or to blame anyone. Um, it can be extremely painful to be stuck in an addictive cycle or just a habit that's not serving you and you're just trying to get out of it. So, um, you know, taking any blame or shame away as best you can, and that's so not easy. But um, but trying to get into that place and offering yourself grace and space, and then. Um, really focusing in on not just what you want to cut out, but what do you want to create and what do you want to pull in? So, you know, making a wish list of what do you want more of in your life and what good stuff is potentially going to come about. And in terms of going cold turkey or um, or doing it in a more gradual way, that really depends on the person because some people really do best with going cold turkey, assuming that they're not physically dependent in a way that's going to cause problems. And, and in that case, they'd want to do it under medical supervision. But the vast majority of people could just quit. Um, and for some people, that's a better that's going to work better for others. Uh, it works with a more gradual approach. So maybe they just want to start cutting back or saving it for special occasions. You know, um, it's definitely possible to practice sobriety. Maybe they want to take a month off or even a week. I mean, I, I recommend trying at least 10 days because it takes 10 days to get the alcohol out of your system. Um, if someone's up for a month, that's fantastic. If someone's up for like 90 days, that's even better because certain benefits you don't really see until um until the hard parts are over i'd say and um so if you're if you can hang in there for 90 days it's going to be way easier and way more exciting to stick with it i have a question for you um what what is your thoughts or take on if if, if if you're like you and me and, and we're we're into biohacking and health and wellness in a variety of different ways and we listen to podcasts all the time, 
there there is a movement to find other natural substances that 